Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link wherever you can. Uh, please let me know if the sound quality is good. Please, before we start, uh, use nice words. Don't be harsh. Don't insult others. We are here to speak about the topic, not about people. And uh, today we have a video speaking about, uh, if you remember the title previously, it was uh, Say No to Allah. Uh, say no to women uh, or violence against women however a Muslim lady she don't agree with me she believe and she is answering me about you know I mean the topic is that Islam teaching man to beat his wife chapter 4 verse number 34 what is the answer from the Muslim lady I'm going to show you from YouTube from the same page uh, so we can uh, discuss together what she said. <clears throat> I will open uh, the YouTube page and we will show you. Here we go. This is the lady, her name, Deirea. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name correctly. If not, I hope she forgive me. Uh, and the disbeliever planned, but Allah planned. And Allah is the best planner. Imagine the title of the video is "Say No to Violence Against Women," and she is talking about planners and planning. And Allah is the best of planners. And by the way, the verse doesn't say that. The verse doesn't say that Allah is the best of the planners. You chose a perfect verse to describe Allah to me because the verse here says that the disbeliever the they, uh, 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 they do makar. Makara wa makaru wallahu khayrul makirin. The word makar is plan of deceive, to deceive somebody. You can go right now to the dictionary and you can see it. So you just say that the deceivers are bad. But Allah is the best of the bad. If we go right now to the Quran, and here we go, I will open the same exact chapter you quote for us. So nobody will say, well, he's quoting the wrong one. Chapter 3, verse number 54. So I will go to chapter 3, verse number 54. And the, and, the, and the question, the first question I asked myself, okay, what is the answer? I mean, what does this have to do with our topic? We, we are showing you the Quran saying, beat your wife. So you show me this verse. Oh, she is trying to say to me, well, you disbelievers, you plan against Allah. And Allah, he have different plan. He will deceive you. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> The disbelievers, you know, this is the Muslim translation. The word in Arabic is makar. Wa makara wa makar Allah. I can take you right now to any Arabic dictionary and you will see that the word makar means to deceive. As an example, in Arabic, we say, makar. What does that mean? The fox who play you, who deceive you, the deceiver, the fox, one of his name is al makar. And this is one of the names of Allah. He's Makkar. He's the same as a fox. You can't trust him. He play games. He play you. So if we change the translation for this word Makkar, <clears throat> this is Biktal. Let us uh, find a different one. Hilali Khan, let us see. Hmm. Polted. The disbelievers polted, plotted, sorry. And Allah... Uh, look, look look here at the deception how come the first word you you know translator he says plotted and the second word is a plant but it's the same word look in the Arabic here we go is the same exact word so how the first one uh, uh, plotted and the second one planned it's the same exact word so makaru they plotted and what plotted mean they they have a conspiracy against you evil evil thing evil conspiracy so your god he they are having they have an evil conspiracy and allah he have an evil conspiracy and allah is the best of evil conspiracy and this is about what about jesus supposedly because allah he want to save him <laughs> and the evil conspiracy proven you see the word makar here is about deceive because what happened to Isa supposedly Allah he put someone instead of him in the cross that is a deception that is deception so you came to me with the verse proving to me that Allah, Allah cannot be God because if Allah is God what kind of God he deceived them 
make three billion Christians and more believe that Jesus was a crucified because if not Allah doing that deception would someone look like Jesus in the cross Christians today they will not believe that Jesus was a crucified don't Allah he knew that uh, the, the Christians they will believe in Jesus to be crucified he waited 600 years to send us a guy his name is Muhammad we go back to her answer just to show you how they try to refute me but a big failure <clears throat> So this is the first verse she quoted to me, proved to me that, that Allah cannot be God because he's just a, a player, he's a deceiver. And then you will see, uh, based in appropriate, appropriate meaning to be used. What appropriate? The verse says that Allah, he plays someone like, you know, uh, look like Jesus, correct? Mr. Qasim? <laughs> That's a deception. If, I'm, uh, if I give you a one dollar and I say to you, this is a real money, and then you think, I make you think it's real money, but it's fake. That is deception. That is a fraud. So you are saying to me, based on the action, this is the action. The action is a fraud. Allah, he, he replaced someone instead of someone. Make you believe it is like that person. That is a fraud. And God do not need to do that. Because God, he can destroy all the nation of the Jews by one word. So what if the Jews want to kill Jesus? Can't he say, okay, Jesus. And Jesus is saved already, supposedly. Allah, he took him to heaven. So why he need to clone someone else? It's a stupid story. Stupid story. You have no base. Proving his Christianity to be to be true and it's not to be wrong. We can go later to explain why with one more details. Look here. In in uh, uh, she said in the minute 18 uh, 30, uh, uh, I said that the Islam consider women as lower than a human being. Well, you see, I said in America, if you beat an animal, you go to jail. In Islam, in chapter four, verse 34 says, beat your wife. So it's not me who is saying she is lower than a human being. This is your religion. For me, she is a human being equal to everybody. This is why when they asked Jesus about going to heaven, he said he and she, they will be the same as angel, which means will be equal. Not I will be an angel or be equal to an angel and she will be my servant. No. So he and she, nobody is going to control a woman. Nobody will have a woman. He and she, they will be the same as angels, which means man and male, they will be equal in heaven. In your religion, a man, he go to heaven, he got tons of women even the reward of a man in heaven is a lot of women where is the women reward where, what what is the reward of, she will be in the heaven as a servant so she was a slave in earth she was a, a, a sexual object in earth and she is a sexual object in heaven for eternity so you say to me here the prophet said all human are being equal for Allah like a teeth of comb that's a stupid statement my friend because this is a proving to me that Muhammad is a liar isn't it Muhammad he says in the same book in the Quran that the believers are not equal to the believers the Muslims they do not know their book If we go in the Quran, we will find tons of verses saying that this is not a true. It's a big fat lie. Let's go to the Quran. <clears throat> hmm. I will type. I would just. I will type just the word yesterday, which means equal, just to show you. <laughs> all people are equal if Muhammad he says that Muhammad he says that are you sure even Allah he don't consider Muslim themselves equal to each other chapter 4 verse number 95 the one who do jihad is not equal to the one who don't do jihad according to Islam the, the believer is a good person the disbelievers is not a good person chapter uh, chapter 5 verse number 100 are they equal no they are not and according to Islam all non-muslims are evil people so what do you mean all people are equal chapter 6 verse number 50 Muhammad he says that is it equal that the one who is blind with the one who is not Will I say yes? That is a very stupid statement. The one is a blind is equal to the one who is not a blind. 
but according to Islam no but if you want to say to me this is a metaphorical meaning so you did lie to me saying that the Prophet says all people are equal because your prophet saying that he is calling those who they are not Muslims blind and they are not equal <laughs> so do you see how they post things it's a, uh, just for the purpose of deception just for the purpose because they are not even the Muslims are not equal chapter 9 verse number 19 those who strive for the sake of Allah are they equal like those who don't know so when you when you post for me a statement from your prophet saying that all people are equal that like the teeth of a comb that is that's a silly statement because this is a contradiction for everything Muhammad he taught even Muhammad he considered non-muslims are animals the chapter of an anam -an 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 so people they you know uh, uh, many muslims they give us the statements and if you are a person who do not know what they are talking about okay well this uh, the statement of muhammad sound good uh, people are equal like the teeth of the comb well if people are equal to the teeth of the comb so why muhammad he's saying the man he can beat his wife in chapter 4 verse number 34 okay people are equal but let me tell you something in islam in the quran the word nas appear many time in the quran but always the word nas mean men here we go the chapter of the women ayyuhan nas okay ayyuhan nas what the word nas mean people but guess what when allah he say nas he don't mean women women are not nas how we can prove that because in the same chapter he explained to us the one who is giving them the obligation is the men women men are maintainers if we if we before we go and read that verse let me show you <clears throat> if I type the word nest here which mean people hmm? wherever this word appear Allah speaking only about men all those verses in the front of us speaking about men because Allah don't speak to women Allah speak to men and men are maintainers of women then the men they will tell their wives what to do and this is what he said in chapter 4 verse number 34 so if I go with your statement that at least Muhammad saying all Muslims are equal but this is not true because the Quran have many verses saying they are not equal those who do kill for the sake of Allah are not equal for those who don't kill men are not equal for women and I will use your own Islamic translation not mine is Muslim women equal to a Muslim man no even in the court Muslim women she is equal to two women equal to one man as a witness read with me carefully in the inheritance she is not equal in the right she is not equal I mean here we go it's in the front of you and here the Muslim they start saying to us like okay let us say let's make it uh, simple uh, uh, brothers sisters uh, men are in charge protectors and maintainers of women because Allah he made one of them excel so how you say to me that the Prophet he said that they are equal but the Quran says that men are excel and here you see the the false translation they are saying to the, the like uh, the man because they are maintainers and they they spend their money and their property on them they have the right to beat those women so you are equal with the man but the man he can beat you but you cannot beat the man what kind of equality is that, is that? have you ever heard of such equality so you are a female i am a male and we are equal we are equal to the point Allah he says I am excel from you and I can beat you and this is according to you is equality <laughs> what kind of just what kind of, a, of of equal religion this religion is even your prophet in the hadith he made it clear that women are most of them they are bad they will go to hell look what he said and we mentioned that in the previous hadith 
And the funny, by the way, like they don't answer me about the question. I mean, is it okay to beat women? They speak about anything except until now. What is the answer? Do you do you agree with beating women? Do you support as a female? Do you support beating women? Who is a Muslim here in the chat? He support beating women. Who agree that beating women is the correct thing? Any Muslim? So the topic is about beating women, and what they say to us: Allah is a deceiver, and the, the disbelievers are deceivers, and Allah is deceiver, and Allah is the best of deceiver. Where's the, uh, the? They never answer the question. They try to avoid. And look what she is talking about: people are equal. No, they are not. You're a prophet saying that most of women they will go to hell because of two reasons: they have a lack of intelligence and they have a lack of religion. So why you are lying to me and saying they are equal in Islam? But I will tell you what Muhammad he said. He says people are equal. He meant men. He don't mean you. Do you see it? You have a deficiency and you have a deficiency in your intelligence and deficiency in your religion. Who is saying that? Your prophet. Are you equal? And this is the reason most of you will go to hell. So where is the equality? Where is Muhammad saying uh, uh, people are equal like the comb teeth? And isn't it Muhammad he says that the Christians and the Jews and then Muslims have to be humiliated? So where is the equality? Chapter 9 verse 29. Isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad he says you will not find one believer one believer he treat the non uh, 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 one believer he treat the non-believers with respect and being kind to them if he's a true believer is that your prophet saying that <clears throat> read it and this is your Muslim translation Oh Muhammad, Allah speaking to Muhammad, not to Christian Prince. This is not my translation. This is not my page. This is not my website. Read carefully. Uh, any every person would have two worldly wives. Look what is look, look what this answer. I say, do you support guys? Look, let me show you what Muhammad Qasim said to me. Just to show you. I mean, this is this is really crazy. I don't know what to say. When I see Muslims comment, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Arabian Prophet, every person would have two worldly wives. Sahih Muslim Ibn Juray says, Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what does this have to do with my topic? Why you should have two earthly wives and why there's heavenly wives if we are equal? Why the women became a sex toy? Because what you are saying to me, okay, what do you like to have in heaven? I like to have a dog. Okay, I will give you two dogs. What do you like to have? I will have uh, two horses. Okay, I, I will give you two horses. What do you like else? I like women, two women too. And the top of that, two women from the earth and a lot of women from the So what, what kind of religion this religion is? So you made the women as a gift for the man. What is the woman gift? Oh, the woman, she will be waiting for your majesty in her bed with no panty. Because this is her duty. This is what Islam made out of women. So your answer proving to me that Islam is a very stupid, false cult. Not only women, she is going to be beaten in the earth. Women, she is going to be a sex slave in, in, in heaven. I mean, what kind of reward? What if the women she like to have 70 men? They ask uh, Zach and Naik. Uh, 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 I think an Indian girl, she asked Zach and Naik. She said to him, Muslim man will have 70 hur. What the Muslim women she will have? He said, <coughs> uh, Brother Titter, the Titter did get the point. Did a very good point. A Muslim brother, he's going to have 72 hur. What the Muslim sister would have? The answer is very simple. Because the word whole is a plural word. It's not male and female. Which means a Muslim woman, she is going to have 70 who are too. Like what? 
the Muslim women she will have 70 men in her bed this is what the Quran is saying where and then all the Muslim like hey amazing answer brother what are you talking about the Quran says no the Quran says it clearly that the whore are females they did not lose their virginity and bleed I mean what's wrong with this guy and nobody really stood up to say to him you are an idiot what are you talking about in Islam Muslim women she will have 72 men and they will do boom boom with her in which book is that do you see it the Quran make it clear that those are females but this idiot he don't speak Arabic and suddenly he want to teach us what the word hur mean it says in Arabic you see in Arabic we have this is ta, ta which means that the T for the females the noon here the letter noon is the noon of the women so any idiot who a little bit know about Arabic he will know that it says it clearly those are females in the top of that it says yat muthahun which mean they are female from the noon and they will bleed from their private part are you saying to me men they will ble bleed from their private part and this is your Muslim translation And this is your Zach and Naik. And 10,000 people listening and like, wow, brother, he is so good. Brother, Zach and Naik is a genius, brother. Absolutely, brother. Yeah, the person is never going to have breath. And he's going to stupid thing. And actually, he's always saying stupid thing about Islam. I don't believe him. So are we equal according to Islam? No. You will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day making a friendship with those who oppose Allah. Even if they are their kids, their fathers, their son. Why? Because they are bad. They are not equal to us. Chapter 3 verse number 28 says the same. Chapter 5 verse number 51 says the same. I mean the Quran is full of verses speaking about the same issue. You are trying to fool who? And if we are equal and Allah made all human beings equal, so why Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians? As we see in chapter 5 verse 14. Is that how you treat the equal one? Let us say the Christians are deceived, they worship the wrong God, they worship Jesus, blah, 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 blah. Okay, is that how you solve the problem? You spread the hate between them? Why? Are you the devil? This is what the devil do. Look at the contradiction. Jesus said, I came to the sick one. Jesus, he came to the sick one. When they said to him, why you speak to those people? Those people are sinners. He said, I came to the sick one. Allah, he will make you, if you are sick, he will make you more sick. Do you see the difference between Christ and Allah? While Allah will make you more sick because spreading hate between us will not make us better people. Obvious. Right? Who is, look, so we planted among them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. Do you see it? Let me show you what Mr. Qasim is saying. Mr. Qasim, he just made a comment. <clears throat> I like the, the, the comment of Mr. Qasim. Women are equal with men in the term of reward. Where is the reward? Okay, hold, oh, guys, guys. In the term, did, did this guy, he just said in the term of the reward. Okay, I showed you that in the heaven, you will have a lot of women. And you yourself, from your text, you said to me, in the heaven, you will have two women from the earth. Okay, what is the reward for a Muslim woman? How many are, is she going to have two men in the heaven? 
and uh, 70 uh, men from the uh, two men from the earth and two 72 men from the heaven aren't you the one who's saying to me equal how where is the equal so they are equal with you no they are not in, in earth you beat them in heaven you beat them in heaven they are your sexual slave hold on hold on okay hold on hold on look what he says and lawful provision and we shall pay them certainly a reward okay what does have to do with the women uh, your God Allah is saying okay I will give you a reward what is the reward the reward is so clear the men he will have versions a lot of sex slaves and 80,000 boys what is the reward for the women is it your prophet here in front of me saying that most of Muslim women they will go to hell what's wrong with you not only they will not have a reward they themselves if they go to heaven they are a reward for the man themselves they have no reward in the top of that most of them they will go to hell <laughs> guys do you see it if we go to the hadith look what the what muhammad he said <clears throat> I'm trying to remember the hadith. Hmm. Here we go. Read carefully, Mr. Muhammad Qasim. The least of the people of paradise. You see, when he say people, he mean men. You see, you remember I told you in the beginning that when, when the Quran or Muhammad say people, say nas, aqallun nas. When he say people, he mean men. You, women in Islam, they are not people. How we can prove that? Read with me carefully. The least people of paradise in position of the one who shall have a tent, uh, 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 he will have uh, uh, with 80,000 servants and 72 wives. So people are men. People are men. And the reward is for the lowest Muslim man. 72 women and 80,000 little boy. What is the reward for the women? Show me Mr. Qasim. That a Muslim woman, she will have 72 men, at least, this is the bad women. The, because he says the list, the list of the people, that, that, that the most worst person, a Muslim person, he will get that. Show me an equal reward for the Muslim women. She will have 72 men for sex and 80,000 boys, servants. Can you show me the reward, Mr. Equal? And here, by the way, anyone notice how crazy and how bad this is? Because Islam is the God of Islam is a God of mental issues. He is promoting slavery even in heaven. In the heaven, I will have 72 sex slaves for, from women if I'm a bad Muslim, which means the numbers will increase dramatically. The heaven of Allah have 100 floor. This is the lowest floor. The lowest floor will have 80,000 little boys. The Quran described them as pearl very white and women who you can see through the marrow of their bones because muhammad is a racist man and he knew that the arab are racist like him and i am an arab too they have an obsession with white women so he promised them that you will see you will have women who have flesh so white to the point you can see through their bones what is the equality And what kind of women, this woman, we will see the flesh of her bones. How ugly. How disgusting. Imagine you see your wife as if she is in front of an x-ray machine. Is that will turn you on, Muhammadan? Be honest with me. Does it turn you on to see a woman in the x-ray machine? Hmm? Do you see it? You see the marrow of their bones. This is God. This is heaven. This is a prophet. Or he's making things up. Is this promise is true? Who want to tell us if this is promise is true? Is it really true promise? So I will go to heaven, and brother, I will uh, I will get a woman. I can see the marrow of her bones. 
a brother I cannot wait to convert to Islam brother I mean I want to get this who can resist this nobody can you you go to your bedroom and you see this like wow me and so and she will be singing for you I'm sexy and I know it I mean look at this this is what your prophet promising me uh, this person obviously have a mental illness and this is why people join Isis <laughs> I mean do you know why you are joining Isis you will die for this are you serious this is what heaven of Allah is about <laughs> we have a transparent women why they are jellyfish Are they jellyfish? Who wanna have the? Who, who wanna have? Uh, who who like to with jellyfish? Jellyfish. Which is that? So you do not need to be a genius to find out that this man Muhammad he have a fantasy he have he have a, he have a mental illness. This promise cannot be true. 80,000 little boys, a slavery of a child abuse in the heaven of God. Child abuse, and by the way, they will say to you, this is Da'if. Anything embarrassing, they say to you is Da'if. The last of people in paradise, they will have 80,000 little boys. Child abuse. If we go back to the lady who was trying to answer me until now we got no answer about women beating what is the uh, so Allah he says all people are equal uh, this is not true in Islam people are not equal Christians and Muslims are not equal Hindus and Buddhas and atheists and gay and lesbian they are not equal Muslims the kuffar described in the Quran as najis if we go in the Quran look what the Quran says that non-Muslims, they are najis, they are dirty, they are filthy. What do you mean people are equal? Those who do not believe in Allah or worship beside Allah, they are any clean. And this is your Muslim translation. By the way, it doesn't mean any clean. It means filthy. Hmm? Or Najison, Najison, impure. This is a translation. But the word Najis is something you cannot wash. You are filthy to the point nothing can wash you. If you are not a Muslim. Najasutul Muslim, Taharatul Kafir. Which means the dirt of a Muslim is the when a, when a Kafir is a pure. So why you lie to me and you say they are equal? And the same here it says kill them those who they are not they are nudges the Christians and the Jews kill them and take their money Do you see it and make themselves feel themselves willing and submission and feel themselves subdued? Where is the where is the equal? So the question was do you support women beating as in the Quran it says and then now this lady she failed to answer and now she gave us another answer look at this the Prophet said everyone is responsible for his wife children's and will be questions about his responsibility on the day of judgment Sahir Bukhari thank you very much guys he will be questioned in the day of judgment but Allah he told him beat her <laughs> So he will not question him and let me let me show you how how your prophet he is fooling you So a man he is responsible for the women right and he will be questioned Okay, isn't it true your prophet says a man should not be questioned for beating his wife? Hmm? Is that your prophet or me the prophet of Allah said a man will not be asked about why he beat his wife. Do you see it? 
So you give me a statement, Muhammad saying, in Sahih al-Bukhari, the man will be questioned, the man will be questioned, he will be responsible for his men and his wife and the children, and he will be questioned in heaven, but they will not ask him about beating your wife, because this is his right. He will be questioned if he feed them or not. <laughs> but but you know what? If I have a dog in USA, I don't feed him, I go to jail. You can ask anyone, you can search Google. If you have a dog, a cat, a rat, and it's a pet, you know, pet, it's something you grow at home, and you don't give them food, somebody will call the police and you can stay up to three, four years in jail. For animal abuse. But your prophet saying a man will not be asked for why he's beating his wife, which means if a wife she call she call the police. Hey, my husband is beating me. So so what? He's beating you. He have the right to beat you. That's what the police will say. Because your prophet said a man will not be asked why you are beating your wife, because this is his right. So I say to this lady and to all Muslims, when you try to refute Christian prince. I mean, don't even try. I, I don't even dare to debate myself. Just try it. You gave me no answer. Uh, here we go. The guy is saying that if, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The one is saying to me that if, where are you? The one who is saying to me that if, if I show you that this hadith is not that if, what you will do? Huh? What you will do? If this hadith is not da'if, what you will do? Now he will go sleep. And by the way, who is the one who made this da'if? This is one of the sahih books, the six books of sahih. And Umar al-Khattab, he himself, he practiced that. He said, the prophet said, no one should question a man for beating his wife. And by the way, here there's an issue of da'if. You see how we can trust this religion? Anything, anything, the Muslim, they can label it as da'if. By the way, da'if is accepted. There's a guy, his name Sheikh uh, Imam Hamza. Go and watch his video. He was making fun of Muslims who say da'if, da'if. He says the one who come with da'if argument, this is a da'if argument. The one who say hadith is da'if, this is a da'if argument. This is a weak argument, stupid argument. Da'if Quran. Everything is da'if. Anything they don't like, they say it's da'if. But da'if is accepted. The reason actually is called da'if just to for the ignorant because it is accepted. It pass. This is why it's called da'if. They are silly. They don't even know their religion. Da'if is not rejected. Da'if is accepted. It has a rank. It's like saying A, B, C, D. It pass. And as long as long you are saying to me, this is Da'if, that's mean the Quran is Da'if because the Quran says the man can beat his wife, which means if the Allah, he says the man, he can beat his wife, who are you to ask him why you are beating your wife? That's when you are questioning Allah. So are you saying to me Allah is wrong? When Allah, he says, Beat your women. Is Allah saying the man he have no right to beat the women? Maybe the judge, or he is saying the man can do it. The Quran says it clearly: the one who do that is the man, and the man are maintainers, which means they are in charge. Do you see it? Men are in charge of women. That's it. Nobody can question them. Who is in charge? Who is the one in charge? The men. And what is their duty? They spend their money in their wives. And because of that, women, they have to be what? Obedient. This is the duty of the women. And if she is not going to be obedient, then the man, he have the right to do the following. This is his right. Nobody can question your rights. Admonish them. Separate from them in bed. And scourge them. Do you see it? And this is your Muslim translation. So if you say to me that hadith is not accepted, that means the Quran is not accepted. 
Let me show you another hadith. A woman, she got beaten by her husband until he made her skin greener than her clothes. Did Muhammad ask him, why did you beat her? No. Did not even mention the word beating. Here we go, hadith in front of you. Long hadith. And it is sahih. The woman, she came to Aisha and she showed her her skin. And Aisha, she said the following. Aisha said that I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. So Aisha, she witnessed that Muslim women is the most to suffer. Aisha saying that, not me. See, there's non Muslim women, there's Jewish women, there's uh, Arab, etc. But the most suffering women, according to Aisha, the Muslim women, look, her skin is a greener than her clothes. Read the whole story. Did Muhammad ask him why you did beat her? No. He did not ask the husband why you beat her, and he took his side. He did not say why you did beat her. The whole story, there is no warrior, it says why you did beat the women. It's in the front of you. And not only that, Muhammad, he took the side of the man, the women, she didn't want to sleep with him. He told her, you cannot return to your previous husband unless he tastes your juice. Have you ever heard of a prophet like this? He tastes your juice. Any Muslim can tell us what uh, tastes his juice? Do you remember when Abbas, he challenged me to prove that Jews, it's orgasm? Who remember? It says, I see letter who? Who remember? He made a challenge. A Christian prince, I challenge you. I said to him, Abbas, don't do it. I challenge you, Christian prince. Show me. Abbas, don't do that. I challenge you. Abbas, don't do that. I challenge you. Okay. Abbas. He challenged me, and now I have a problem. I have to prove it. This is the most interesting thing saying, no, until she tastes his sweetness. What sweetness? Why the man have honey? What is honey we are talking about? What is that honey? If I take right now the word which is mentioned here, Asila, and I take it to the Arabic dictionary, you will see that the word Asila is his orgasm. Have you ever heard of a prophet saying to a woman, you cannot go back to your previous husband until you taste his orgasm. This is a prophet of God. Until you taste his juice and he tastes your juice, what we are doing here? And look here, look, look, look. This They, they change the translation. Look, she is not halal for you until she has tested the sweetness of sexual intercourse. What is that sweetness? Who want to tell me? What is the taste? What, what is that thing you can taste in the sexual intercourse? Who want to help me here? I think it's a crazy glue. No. Yogurt, me. No. Um, Pepsi Cola? Huh? What is that? If we take the word which is in Arabic, Asila, and we take it to the dictionary, actually, I will do that. Let me open the dictionary. Hold on. In front of you. <clears throat> and the, 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 the Abbas, he challenged me like, I challenge you. I think it was Abbas. I remember. Here we go. This is the word Asila. This is the word Asila, and this is the Islamic dictionary as it is. Do you see it? Orgasm. Hmm? It's in the front of you. Asila. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Muhammad saying it says for the fulfilling sexual act. Okay, come on. It says that the Zuki taste. Taste. And the word Asila in Arabic is orgasm. You taste his orgasm. 
And let me ask you, what kind of dignity you are teaching to women? That a woman, she cannot go to her previous husband unless she sleep with different men and she tastes his sexual intercourse according to you. What kind of that? What, what is the logic in that? The woman, she is a victim. She's been divorced, abused by the first husband. Okay, now you are saying to her, okay, if you want to go back to your previous husband, you have to go and sleep with the guy, his name Muhammad Qasim Abdul Alim. And Abu Lanim, he have to taste your juice. And then you can go back. What is that? What is dignity? What is honor? Your woman, she is jumping from a man to man to go back to you? And this is supposedly will make the marriage legal? <laughs> this man is a, is a crazy... She cannot get back to the husband unless she go and somebody else do boom boom to her. Why? What the boom boom will do? Mr. Muhammad, he just said, everybody saw his text, that she have to do sexual intercourse. He said that, not me. Okay. How in the world that will make her able to go back to the previous husband if a guy, a strange guy, he take her to her bedroom and he do boom boom to her. And now she can go back to her previous husband. What do you mean according to the door? No, no it, it you have your prophet, he says you cannot go back unless you do that. So you can go back intentionally by saying if you want to go back intentionally, what do you have to do? Boom boom with this one man. Did he say that to her in the hadith? He said to her, You need to know you cannot go back to your previous husband unless you do boom boom. Can you read or you cannot? You have to do the boom boom. <laughs> you want to go back to Rafa? Okay, you can go back, but you need to know. Remember, you cannot go unless you do boom boom. What intentionally? Obviously, it's happening intentionally because now she have to go back. This is the whole story is about the women. She don't want this guy. She married him. She thought he's old. He will not ask her to sleep with her because the Quran says if a man divorce you, etc., etc., you cannot go back to your husband unless you find a new guy. He do boom boom to you. Now you tell me how in the world that will make her okay to go back to the husband? What boom boom will do? Any Muslim can tell us. You divorce your wife three times and now Allah forbid you from having her because she have to go and do boom boom. Okay, what the boom boom will do? Anyone can tell me the logic? So now we gave her to a new man. He do boom boom with her huh? and she tastes his juice and he tastes her juice and now she is lawful to go back to the previous husband. How is that? <laughs> this is a religion this is a religion and this is God and this is a prophet and they call him holy and he's saying if you want to go back to your previous husband you have to do boom boom with the neighbor this is a boom boom cult boom boom in boom boom out all of Islam is about boom boom Muhammad himself is God. He made verses about boom boom just for Muhammad. Look, just to show you here, just an example. When Muhammad he made the verses in the Quran saying that any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet so he can do boom boom. What does this have to do with God? You tell me. God making verses saying, Hey Prophet, all those women are lawful for you. But Muhammad is not a single man. Already he have many wives. The verse says that. O Prophet, we have made lawful for you into thee, the wives. He have wives already. Okay, what else? And this, and this, and this, and even your slave girls. You can have sex with them. You can do boom to them. And not, and not only that, and any believing woman, she offer herself to the Prophet. And look here, they add the word marriage. But in Arabic, it doesn't say marriage. 
why Allah, he made the verse says, any believing woman offer herself. What is that? What, what is the concern of this God? Imagine now, I, I come to you tomorrow, I say, hey guys, God yesterday spoke to me and he says, any believing woman, she want to offer herself to Christian press. What? God said that to you? So here Muhammad, he makes himself like, I'm not the one after women, it's God. Come on. I mean, this is really too much work for me. My heart, my back hurt. It's a lot of women. But God said, uh, do you love me? Do you? Do you? Offer yourself to me. Do you? Do you? And I will take you. And then Muhammad, after he made this verse, women who they are not good looking with my all respect to the women, they came to start offering themselves, including old women. So Muhammad, uh oh, like old women are coming. I, I thought the beautiful women they will offer themselves, not old ones. So look what he said. He made another verse to fix the problem. He says, and Allah told me, you can differ women. And you can like, like what? You can delay and you can take now, and some you can take them later, and some you can differ. What is that? Because he didn't want to take all the women, he wanna take only the pretty one. Do you see it? This is God. If this is God, what is the devil? All leaders of cult, all of them, they share one thing. They want your money and they want to sleep with your wife. Or your woman or your daughter, all of them. And Muhammad is making verses claiming that Allah, Allah order me. I'm just serving Allah. What serving Allah have to do with sleeping with women? <laughs> it's okay, Qasim. In my time here, it is uh, late. Maybe tomorrow, if I go live on air in daytime, you can you can call me. Uh, you are welcome to call anytime. But as you see here, this is this is really. Obvious that Muhammad is taking advantage of those naive people. And look, Muhammad he made verses too. This those verses about him. Okay, have you ever heard of a God is worried about people eating in the house of Muhammad? And look at this verse. Oh, who you believe? Enter not the dwelling of the prophet. Why they cannot enter the dwelling of the prophet? Okay, for a meal without waiting for a proper time. What? Allah, the one who created the galaxies, he is telling people not to wait for food in the house of the prophet. Why? Can the prophet say, guys, don't eat in my, I cannot feed you. You need a verse from Allah? This is God? God, he wrote in the book of eternal life. Oh, people, if you like to eat sandwiches in the prophet house, don't wait for it. He will not feed you. So what if somebody is poor and the prophet is taking the fifth of the booty? The Muslim, they say to us, the prophet, he feed the poor. But here it says, I will not going to feed you. Do you see it? And the Prophet is worried, or Allah, Allah is worried that you speak to the wife of the Prophet and you see her face. Why? Are they prisoners? And that will hurt the Prophet. If you eat sandwich in the house of the Prophet, you hurt the Prophet. If you don't speak to the wives of the Prophet from behind the curtain, you are hurting the Prophet. Read it. And not only that, you should not marry his wives after him. Like, what? You ask any Muslim, can a Muslim woman marry after she became a widow? They will say yes. Yes. Why, brother? He says to you, well, better than doing uh, sin to have a husband. Okay, that's good. So a woman, she is widow. Okay, she has the right to get married. But in Muhammad's case, no. Okay, what is the problem of Allah if Muhammad wife she had a man and she married to him legally? Why it is sin? Why it is the concern of God? Is Muhammad above mankind? Is he not a Muslim? 
the Muslim they say to us the woman she just paused for me saying that all people are equal like uh, the camp uh, the, the 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 teeth of the camp this is what she said to me here you see it okay well Muhammad is not and no Muslim don't believe that people are equal Christians and Jews are not equal to Muslims according to Islam Hindus and Buddhists and atheists are not equal Muslims are above all mankind and even Muhammad, he says that Muslims, they are the best of mankind. I mean, look, look how they try to fool us with the statement. They say the prophet says all people are equal to read it. And this is Bukhari. Don't tell me this is weak. You are the best people ever raised up for benefit of mankind. This is the Muslim translation. They said the word benefit. Okay, what benefit? How 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 the Muslims are going to do the benefit? Let me read it. It's ISIS. This is exactly ISIS. The best for mankind is those who bring them with the chains around their necks. Till they embrace Islam. Do you see it? Do you see it? So why you lie to me? You says people are equal in Islam. Islam consider us as a Christian, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas, atheists, consider us equal to animals and you put a leech in our neck. A good Muslim, according to Muhammad, here we go, this is not my statement, is the one who put a leech in the neck of non-Muslims. So my friends, Muslims, I feel sorry for them. They are very short in knowledge and they are very confused and they quote for us a statement just to confuse you as they are confused You see if Muhammad is a prophet, he should be consistent Muhammad he owned slaves. He made free people slaves. He raped slaves. He killed people. He torture He, he grabbed a guy just to want to know where he hide his money and he torture him Where you hide your money, but this is his money Muhammad is nothing but a thief. He's a gang leader. He's a rapist. This is the truth How many of us we are going to download this video after we finish How many If you think my videos are worth the to do the, to uh, to uh, download Please don't hesitate if you speak other languages. Don't forget to add subtitle you can do editing to the videos that will be helping more, more people because when they download the video from you they will have the text loaded with the video uh, Noor Khan saying uh, Arabian prophet liar read 491 okay this guy is saying read 491 should we do that guys okay 491 <clears throat> I'm going to go to 491 as he said and customers always are right <clears throat> what we can do <coughs> 491 mm. you will be very disappointed Abdul hold on remember this is your choice not my choice okay okay what is this This is your choice. It says kill them wherever you find them. It says kill them and wherever you find them. <clears throat> hmm? And just to tell you something, showing you your ignorance. There's a chapter, it's called Chapter of at tawbah the last chapter Muhammad received, as many scholars, they, they, they agree. That is called the Chapter of Bara'a. Let me teach you something about your religion, you're ignorant. The Chapter of Bara'a, they call it today at tawbah It says that I wash my hands from all the agreement I have it before, which means anything I said before about not to kill, today I wash my hand with it. Chapter 1, Chapter 9, verse number 1. Do you see it? But you are ignorant. He washed his hand from all. Muhammad is going in the stages. 
isn't it Muhammad who says cry not for peace when you are the uppermost so when he is not the uppermost cry for peace peace assalamu alaikum like now they cannot fight Israel they want to sign peace agreement with Israel because they can they cannot beat Israel but if they can beat Israel they will attack it overnight is that your Quran or I'm making things up <clears throat> let us see they don't know their book copy paste people do you see the verse is that Quran or this is a, a fantasy flat or not Cry for peace when you will be the uppermost. Do you see it? So Muslims, if they are, if they guarantee that the uppermost, according to Islam, they should attack. Never go for peace. Never sign peace agreement. So when we sign peace agreement, when we are not the uppermost. Do you see it? And Muhammad, he washed his hand from all obligations, no peace. Freedom from all obligations, I declare. That's it. Attack them. See Hufal Ard. Go and kill them. Travel freely after them and kill them. And who is the one who the Prophet, he gave him peace? Who is the one? Either you have to pay Jizya to live or you die. If you don't believe me, there is zero non-Muslims in Saudi Arabia. How this happened? Any Muslim can explain? The religion of terrorists. You can keep your religion. How come there is zero Christians, zero Jews, zero atheists, zero gays, zero lesbian? Only with Allah? <laughs> <laughs> with Allah only I will find boys and virgins you know it's, uh, the, the playboy magazine Allah only with Allah anyone else want to try something else Nur Khan are you there mr. Nur Khan are you there do you have another do you have a better argument what the Muslim don't tell you always that they as a Muslims they have something called abrogation abrogation so they quote for you a verse and the, but this verse is abrogated Muhammad is a deceiver this is why in the Quran said that he claimed that Allah is the deceiver and he is the best of deceiver look at this la amanu uh, 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 like how you can trust the how you can secure yourself from the deceiving of Allah the most in the transit as the plan of Allah does it say plan of Allah it doesn't say that in Arabic it says makr makr what is makr deception change the translator just to show you how the game change Do you do they feel secure against God? The stupid uh, translator here he's translate the word Allah as God. That's false. Allah is not a word meaning God. Allah is a name of the God of Islam. The uh, devising. <laughs> are you secure from the deception of Allah? No, you are not. Who is the one who sent shayateen? This is Allah. Allah, He is better than you in deceiving. But who is the one who uh, sent Shayateen? Who is the one who is in charge of Shayateen? Who is the one who sent Shaitan to deceive us? Allah. 
It's in front of you. Allah is the boss of shaitan. Shaitan is a good guy, according to Islam. Read it. Shaitan, he do the order of Allah to deceive us. He sent even Satan's, even to prophets. So Satan's are good people, according to Islam. Satan is a good person in Islam. He's not a bad person. But this is conduct at the verse where it says Satan, he want to deceive you. But here it says that the one who is, who is saying that Satan is Allah. Do you see it? <laughs> Do you see it? Am I making things up? Who is the one who sent Shaitan? Allah. Who is the one who appointed them? Allah. Right? CP the fake abrogation any verse he want to make it fake point. It's you who make fake abrogation Okay, let me ask you as long you are talking uh, this is a challenge as long you are talking talking about fake abrogation There's a verse in the Quran says you can't do muta Show me the abrogation verse for the verse about muta if it's not fake. I Showed you all the reference in the front of us in the screen the Quran says you can do muta chapter 4 verse 24 where we can find the abrogation verse for the muta Can you show it to me? Mr. Nur Khan? I will give you 10,000 years The hadith says that Allah Prophet he gave Muslim women an order to give her breast and to suckle men ten times And this is a verse in the Quran where we can find this verse if you are going to say it's abrogated show me the verse it says this verse is abrogated where we can find those verses suckling ten time and suckling five time which the goat ate it I'm waiting for you mr. Uh, uh, Khan prove me wrong about what I said prove me wrong about this abrogated right okay abrogated show me here we go. What kind of a prophet he ordered Muslim women to give their breast and their nipples to stranger and suck it ten different times? And we are not talking about suckling children. We are talking about suckling adult, as you see, breast feeding for adult. Do you see it? The verse of stoning and the breast feeding for an adult ten times revealed. Okay, show me the revealed verses of a breast feeding. And what kind of God does God he teach Muslim women to do breastfeeding for adult? If Islam is, is if the Prophet is exist right now, you, trust me, half of America will join his religion in two days. All what you need to do is just to get a bunch of uh, uh, you know beautiful women and open uh, uh, windows and uh, you know and men they will line up to do breastfeeding. Who's going to go to McDonald's anymore? I will take my cereal with me. And then I will uh, suckle and eat cereal. This is a religion. What kind of God? He says women she have to give her boobs ten times to a stranger. Are you tell me, this is God teaching. This is God. Fake abrogation. No, we don't say fake abrogation. I can show you right now from Islamic website. They are telling you that the chapter of Bara'a abrogated the following verses. Do you want to challenge me? Mr. Nur, Dr. Nur Khan is searching Google now. He cannot answer me. He's busy. Google is not helping. This is religion and this is God. And you know, you Muslim, you keep saying to us that Allah protected the Quran. Then we find that a goat ate the Quran. A goat. I wish it's, a, it's like an elephant. It is an elephant, like, I mean, he's big. They could not stop him. But a goat? I mean, are you serious? A goat? Wow. 
what kind of God he could not stop the goat if if goat is more powerful than Allah okay so where is the protected Quran if you go right now to the Saudi website you will find in their uh, police uh, uh, you know uh, uh, web, web page you will find a picture of a wanted uh, goat you know they are looking for her anyone see this uh, goat eating the Quran please call this following number so where is the Quran which is preserved Allah, brother the Quran preserved according to your Islamic scholars Thousands of verses are missing as an example from only the chapter of Al-Ahzab There's more than 200 verses are missing By the way this goat obviously she is fishy. I mean somebody sent her Mossad or the Jews maybe because Muhammad he blamed the Jews for anything If you uh, if you know if you ever saw this goat somewhere, please call the police. You will have a reward, big reward, because and because we want to get the Quran from her stomach. And what they say to us, brother, the Quran preserved. Okay, where we can find the stoning to death verse? And the funny, they they, they come with like more stories. They say, oh, these verses are abrogated by. Uh, speech but they are not abrogated by act have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this why you are uh, why you want to abrogate them from the Quran if they are not abrogated abrogated mean they are not needed so uh, how you cancel the words what is the wisdom so you are saying to me oh we took the words from the Quran but we have to follow the words but how you can follow the word if you do not know the words But anyway, I understand your pain. I understand that you are frustrated. I understand you have no answer. And that's why you are saying to me, liar, liar, whatever I say. I remember once I was speaking to Muslims and it was their like program. So they give me the microphone. I said the prophet of Allah was a wonderful man. All Muslim in the chat, they were saying to me, liar, liar. I said he never raped a woman. Liar, liar. He never steal. Liar, liar. He never killed. All Muslim, they were calling me liar because they are not listening. Anything Christian Prince you say we say to him liar The guy the host of the program he took the microphone from me and he told him you idiot you stupid He was saying the prophet is a good guy. You say to him liar. He said the prophet did not rape you say to him liar He got us busted even in our broke program Because they don't listen Anything Christian Prince he says that he's a liar. I'm showing you in the screen liar It's in the front of your eyes, liar. This is your website, liar. This is Aisha talking, liar. Do you remember the story where Aisha, she used to ask her nieces and her sisters to give their breasts to anyone when to attend to her? I mean, what kind of a secretary business this business is? Imagine to go and see the wife of a Trump. Let us say Trump is a prophet of Allah. And we want to see his wife. In order to see her, his wife, she you have to suckle the boobs of her sister. What kind of religion this religion is? And I have to do it 10 times. Hmm? Ten time. That is religion, and this is God. That is religion. <clears throat> A 
read 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 carefully read and laugh Yahya related to me from Malik from 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 etc that Aisha the wife of the Prophet may Allah bless him and grant him peace admitted those whom her sister and daughter of her brother had nurse <laughs> You want to go to Aisha, you have to suckle the nipples of uh, her sisters. Hmm? What do you say? Well, there's tons of hadith. We can find you a lot of them. Oh boy. Oh, tons of stories. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Don't forget to please to download the videos and I hope that soon we will have Muslims. Uh uh, they will uh, they will you know they will think I know a lot of Muslims are leaving Islam if you see how many people contact me but they, they are afraid to go and speak in public you will not believe it actually yesterday uh, uh, YouTube recommended a video for me it was in Arabic about a sheikh who is from Iraq who became a Christian and I, I listened to his testimony it was amazing so beautiful but it's in Arabic uh, sadly it's not in English so I can share it with you so a lot of Muslims are leaving Islam and things is changing so 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 fast and so good Kurdish in Iraq in Syria are coming by thousands to Christ Muslim Sunni Muslim Shia I mean it's a revolution it is a revolution because the old days is over where we cannot go there and preach the gospel we say the truth because you know what will happen if you do that after two seconds you will be dead those days are over and Islam is collapsing there's Egyptian TV's programs who they are big names they are accusing and attacking Islam and Muslim do nothing about it they, because they are this is true what he's saying is true this guy is he's a Muslim like us but he's saying the truth So things are changing so fast. If you see how Christianity is spreading in Morocco, you will not believe it. To the point the Moroccan government, they have to make a specific law to stop the spread of Christianity and they could not do it. They could not make it. They could not stop it. The same as the Chinese. The Chinese government, they do their best to stop Christianity from growing and it's growing as you cannot believe. I think China in less than 20, 30 years from now, we will have a Christian president because the number of a Christian in China is skyrocketing. They arrest one, second day they have 100 coming to Christ, exactly as the Roman did. And discrimination, my friend, against Christians will make better Christians of us. Trust me. Discrimination, don't think discrimination is something bad, will make a better person of you. The best of the Christians is those who live under discrimination. The best of the Christians is those who the Roman used to take them and feed them to animals, yet they will never betray Jesus. They put them in a cage, they say, we will throw you right now, and they throw them one after one in front of each other. They feed them to lions, to tigers, and they make fun of them, and they enjoy watching them dying and being fed to animals. Still, they will not change their belief. They hang them, they burn them, they slaughter them, they crucify them, they put nails in their head, they put nails in their hands, they cut them upside down, they cut them to pieces. Still, they will not change their faith. And yet, the liars, they say, the Christians, they corrupt the Bible. The liars, they say to us, Paul, he changed Christianity. Do you know how? Do you know what happened to Paul? Just for, for the sake of his faith? Why you want to do that? Paul was a person of uh, very good rank in the Roman Empire. 
Why you wanna why you wanna sacrifice everything he have? He's a Roman citizen. Do you know what Roman citizen at that time was when everybody was a slave? They sacrifice everything they have for something nobody have except them. That is the Messiah. And look at you. Look at this. Look at this madness. Beating women, virgins, women who you can see the marrow of their bones in heaven, boys, falafel. I mean, this is heaven. Does God speak to your stomach and your private part? He don't speak your brain. He don't speak your heart. He don't want you to use your heart. He don't want you to use your brain. He wants you to think only about your private part. He made all his promises from the stomach and down. Where is your heart? Okay, does God, he want to give me women in heaven? Hmm? What about the women and the man? Is it even the Quran says that God created Adam and Eve? It was one Adam, one Eve. What happened? How one Adam and one Eve became hundreds and thousands of Eves? Because Muhammad is a thief. He stole the story of Adam and Eve from, from others. He put it in his Quran. Otherwise, if Adam started with one Eve, he should end with one Eve. And what what hundred or thousand of women they can do, one woman she can't do. If Allah will take you to heaven and will make you able to stay awake 24 hours, that means the women she can stay awake 24 hours. If if Allah will make you able to have sexual intercourse on the stop, well, she can do that. And you know, by the way, the funny about or the stupid thing about this, do you know that Allah, according to Muhammad, Allah who will give you those women in the heaven, all of them they look the same. All of them they look the same. I mean, what so what the what the brother and sister, all the whole world they look the same, and they have the same eyes, and they have the same hair, and they have the same height, and they have the same face, and they have the same legs, and the same all of them they have the same side, even of the boobs. All of them they have the same look. So what the point? If you sleep with one, as you step with all, imagine you have one hundred million women. All of them they look exactly the same. Have you ever heard of a crazy cult more than this? And not only that, all of them they sing the same song. Do you believe it? Like Barbies, you know, you push the, you push the bully bomb. Hey, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Hey, she is a plastic and she is fantastic. Sent by Allah. You can touch me here and touch me. Okay, this is Muhammad. Touch her here. And she's a Barbie girl made by Allah for you. Touch her here, touch her there. If you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will see what I'm talking about. You will see all the reference. This is a crazy. Okay, and I will, I will recognize which one is one. All of them, their name is Hur. You say Hur, all of them, they say yes. <laughs> it's like chicken, you know? Like you have one, one million chicken, all of them, they are they are white, so white, and they exactly look the same. How you will know which one? I mean, what, and why? Why you need all of those? What for? Madness, madness and stupidity, and obsession with sex. This is drugs. This God, he try and he he is successful to control your mind. Isn't it obvious that such a promise is coming from the devil? What kind of God do you want to promise me this? An eighty thousand little child. What eighty thousand? What I would do with them? If my food in the heaven. I do not need to cook. The food is ready always. The fruit will come to me. The tree will bend over for me. So what the what the servant for? We don't want to talk about baby creation now, but you can take about baby creation in the heaven. Allah is the first one who discovered microwave. According to Muhammad, a Muslim man, if he wished to have a child in the heaven, he will carry it. I mean, how the man will be, okay, how the man will deliver a baby? 
You tell me. A brother, why your stomach is big, brother? I have, a, uh, I have a baby. But you are a man, brother. How you have a baby? Because we are now in heaven, brother. We can have babies. So this is the fastest microwave. The Muslim man, he will carry a child inside him and he will deliver him in less than 15 minutes. In Arabic, it says, Hamluhu wa wadu'uhu fi sa'a. Fi sa'a. Okay, sa'a, that sa'a now, and the word sa'a, and this time means 60 minutes. But in the old days, it's between 15 to 20 minutes. So the Muslim man will carry a child. I don't know who is going to do boom, boom to him. I mean, what do you mean the Muslim man will carry a child inside him? From who? Where? And he will deliver him in less than 15 minutes. Huh? And the funny look, the Muslim, they keep saying to me, liar. I'm showing in the screen. They say to me, liar. I show it in the screen. They say to me, liar. It doesn't matter what I say. It says in the front of us, the messenger of Allah said, they say to me, liar. <laughs> Muhammad, he said, they say, they say, liar. This is your website. You are a liar. I mean, you know what? What is making me worry if I convert to Islam and I will deliver a child, he will come out from where? Let me guess, let me guess his nose. Um, from the nose, you think he you think we can get the baby from the nose? What do you how you will deliver the boy? How you are a man and you are going to deliver a child from where? From your bully bum? Hello. I hope not or from your <coughs> man that will hurt this is not web Islam what do you mean this is not web Islam this is Sunnah that come if this is not web Islam this is web of who Hindus this is Sunnah that come like look at the look at the intelligence of the answer look this is not web Islam Sunnah.com. Not only they are Muslim, they are Sunni. This is not of uh... <laughs> Why you don't do live stream in Periscope? I don't know what is that. Is that something new? I never heard of it. You see, in my time, when you used to fly with the flying carpet, by the way, the prophet, he speak in the Quran about the flying carpet of Prophet Solomon. I did not tell you, my grandfather, he used to have it. True story. And my dad, he used to take my mom and all the 800 kids he have, and we fly in the flying carpet. We do not need a visa. True story. The Quran, chapter 18, verse number, uh, go uh, start from 27, etc. True story, brother. Flying carpet. How come when Muhammad he say about a flying carpet, nobody say to him a liar, liar? Where is the liars? Flying carpet can carry six hundred thousand chairs in the top of it and all the equipment of the kingship of Suleiman. Six hundred thousand chairs. Don't you think Muhammad is making it so like? I mean, come on. What about we make them six hundred chairs? No, six hundred thousand chairs. 600,000 people are in the top of a flying carpet and his animals, his elephants, his goats, his dogs, his genie, everything in the top of the flying, the whole kingdom is a flying. Imagine Trump tomorrow, he fly in a flying carpet to go and visit Korea. That would be fun. I would go with him. I would put a lot of sandwiches with me. Any Muslim would say a liar? How come you don't say a liar to your prophet? I like flying carpet. I used to watch it when I was like young, you know, Alibaba, Sindibad, Sinbad. In English, they say Sinbad. In Arabic, we say Sindibad. Huh? How come you don't say liar? Uh, what about the prophet? He found the bird is missing. Look, what? Brother, the bird was missing. Really? What bird? Hadud. Like, what? Hood was missing, yes, brother. And where the hood goes, 
the brother the hood was looking for women who have no hair in their legs what and the prophet solomon he says if i don't give me an excuse i'm going to take his feather one by one or i will slaughter him like what any muslim want to say liar look it's in the front of you this is quran are you going to say to me that if quran You believe in this story? I believe in it, brother. And what about the prophet when he arrived to the valley of the ants? Really? Yes, there is a valley in the ant in the Middle East, brother. We have valley of cockroaches. We have valley of rats. We have valley of mice. We have valley of butterfly. We have valley of bees. We have valley, valley of ants. And they have even an, uh, like a flag, you know, it's called anti. So when Prophet Solomon brother, he arrived to the valley of the ants, he heard one of the ants saying, hide in your dwelling place, lest Solomon and his host crush you. And then Solomon, he like, <laughs> I just heard my name. <laughs> Even the ant speaking, hey, brother. How the ant she knew that this king, his name is Solomon. She received a message in what's up. She said to other. She received a message from other ant. She said, "What's up? What's up?" And the other ant she said to her, "Solomon is coming." The ant she knew the name of Solomon, and she told them, "Hide, otherwise Solomon will crush you." Well, Solomon at that time was very famous and they watch him in TV very famous Solomon I mean who don't know Solomon nobody everybody knows Solomon and then he smiled laughing at her words uh, uh, but ants are deaf and mute he, he laughed at her words Allah, Allah saying that ants they talk and they have words. Ants they communicate, all creatures they communicate. Yes, this is true, but they don't speak. Ants they communicate in two ways chemical or vibration. What words? Hmm? And yeah, and those ants, they, no, no, no Arabic. What Arabic? Hold on. One of you says, and those speak Arabic, my friend. This is in, what was in the Hebrew, those are Jews. Obviously, ants are Jews too. For the best, some of all, he can mean holy. Wakal Rabbi Rabbi. Oh, is it any in what is that, man? This is deep. And then, after Solomon, he finished with the ants. He checked the birds and he found one of the birds is missing. But do you know why he's checking the bird, brother? Because he have an army of birds. Yes, brother, he have an army of a chicken and a rooster. What? Yes, brother, look. And his host were mastered to Solomon, jinn and men and birds. So the man, he have an army of birds? He, the, this is the sergeant bird is trying reporting to the sergeant uh, general uh, bird. Suleiman, he have an army of birds. What is that? So you must have you said to me, liar, liar, whatever I say. Where is the one who want to say liar? You believe in this? What I tell you is a lie. This is true. Oh boy. Oh boy. This guy, he have a class. He will be late because of me. See what I'm doing to those people. I feel, feel sorry for them. I don't know what time to go live on air. I'm trying to go in different time so we can, you know, speak to everybody. Anyway, guys, don't forget to download the video. I will delete them very soon. So don't forget to download them, please. Share them in your channels. And as you see, no Muslim can answer us. This is a very, very stupid cult. I mean, this is seriously stupid cult. Islam is very easy to defeat. But they play 
with the one who don't know now the ones who watch Christian Prince videos the one who read the Christian Prince books can you say you do not know impossible impossible this is why I advise you let your children's watch my videos especially the part where it's not about you know I mean fit with their age let them see if you have teenage if you have, let people see educate them so they will not be an easy target we give the flu shot here so you will not have the flu we don't like the flu we fight the flu but still we have to take the shot I don't spend my time here because I enjoy talking about it trust me I hate this I hate this topic I wish one day I will never talk about it again it's my wish but each time I say I'm going to stop I feel guilty because until now I could not find someone he can do what I'm doing so until the day come and somebody can do and carry on I have to keep going I really appreciate those who support us those who stand with us by everything they do from copying the videos to add titles to posting everywhere downloading saving them posting them people who give donations people who get our books I really appreciate you all but there is one I cannot forget to appreciate most of anyone that is my Lord my Savior if not him I will not be confident if not him I will not be sure if not him I will not be strong if not him I will not be victorious so I'm victorious by him not by a Christian Prince I'm victorious by him not by anyone he is my strength he is my power and he is my dignity without him I don't have any because if not him I will be lying to you I will be doing the same exactly as Muhammad but I cannot lie I'm a Christian I cannot deceive I'm a Christian I cannot say things is not true I'm a Christian so because of him I'm doing what I'm doing we are the followers of the Lord the living Messiah and they are followers of the dead Muhammad with all the crimes he commit we are followers of the person who never commits sin who challenged him to prove him a sinner the one who is holy his name is holy his act is holy his teaching is holy and right now even in the Islamic cult Jesus is alive so you have a choice either you follow the living Messiah or you follow the dead Muhammad you choose thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you all and I will see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and don't forget to download the video as soon as it is available it take about 20 to 20 to 30 minutes to be available for download by YouTube take care and get a blast bye bye